May I introduce you to Sizewell B Nuclear Power Station, the first pressurised water reactor to be built in the UK. The Suffolk Coast site on which this station is built was initially planned to be used for two different types of nuclear power station, but plans for these were abandoned in the 1970s. In 1980, it was announced that Sizewell B was to be a pressurised water reactor. And in 1981, the Central Electricity Generating Board submitted a planning application to build this power station immediately north of Sizewell A. The project took nearly eight years to complete at a cost of £2 billion in 1987 prices, and approximately a quarter of this cost was for the civil engineering works. An early concrete pour for the reactor buildings, 3.8 metre deep reinforced concrete circular base, became one of the UK's largest non-stop pours, placing 5,200 cubic metres in 55 hours. In total, the project required a half a million cubic metres of concrete, and that's enough to fill the Royal Albert Hall five times over. And 70,000 tonnes of steel reinforcement was placed, which is equivalent to the weight of the new Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier. In 1994, the project won the prestigious British Construction Industry Award and also the Supreme Award. However, the main contribution to society is the fact that Sizewell B has been reliably producing sufficient low carbon electricity to meet the demands of 2.5 million homes and businesses. So how are civil engineers involved in this project, which is very similar to Hinkley C currently being constructed in Somerset? Civil engineers designed all the reinforced concrete and structural steelwork structures. One of the key challenges for the civil engineers designing the nuclear safety related civil structures was for them to ensure that they would withstand an earthquake with a severity far in excess of any event yet recorded in the UK. Many civil engineers were deployed on site and the responsibilities ranged from ensuring that the construction schedule and quality standards were maintained to confirming that the watering, excavation and the construction of all the numerous and varied civil structures was in accordance with both their design and specification. No day on site was ever the same. All that remained constant was the challenge of confirming that the construction was being carried out in accordance with the drawings and specification, the job satisfaction of being part of a cohesive team working together on this significant project, and the excitement of knowing that you were playing your part in making the project a success, indeed something to tell the grandchildren. Mm -hmm.